Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Assembly Planter. My name is Jeff. You can call me Jeff. Let's continue where we left off, which was, oh, we unlocked iron tier items. Um, upgraded versions of the harvester and planter. I think we made those. That's what the double thing here is. Right? Yeah, just one tier of each. One extra tier of each. And I had an idea of how to lay these out better than what I have. But I think I'm going to do that. Orb of wisdom. What do I need? A little of everything. Right, I needed the better workbench. This one? Do I not have that one yet? I needed wood. I needed iron, I think. Now I need wood. So this is making iron. Let's I wonder what happens if we switch it over to making tree seeds, just in the middle. Like, how will this prioritize what to plant? We planted one of each. Probably because it didn't have any tree seeds, but that's, that's fine. I had an idea of how to lay this out differently that I want to try out. We'll do it after we get the next bench. Just so we can have some slightly better tools going on. All right, well, now it's just doing one of each. No, now it's not doing any of the iron. How does it decide? Last in, first out? Let's do to remove the filter. Just start having everything go in there. So this can run out. Well, this won't run out. We can start tearing these up. That you got you got a few things to go. <clears throat> Sixteen of those. Um, I should have the wood for this now, right? Yes. And I'm sure I don't have it. This is the this is the advanced crafting table. Okay, glad I didn't make it. I thought I made it. So this takes I don't know what that input is. But I'm sure we'll get it out of an iron sieve. That's right, we needed a lot of iron to make these guys. Seems right. I'm acting like it's been forever. It's been two days. <laughs> so let's put these down and see how they what they make. Um, that's the wrong one. So we get sandy lions. <laughs> Plant it to grow a sanded lion. It grows in 10 seconds. So it's less than the iron. But it's longer than any of the other ones by a little bit. And the compactus seeds. Grows in 16 seconds. You input sand? I'm guessing is what that is. So it originally... Hmm, it's going to rely on the Sandy Lion and Cactus. Interesting. Okay. Let's go ahead and make these automated while we're at it. Pick them up. And make auto iron one of these and an auto iron one of these. You're finally done. Cool. Get up. 
And I think I have the space for what I want to do. Let's see. One, two. All right. So the idea I had was if I set them up linearly, so if I have a planter, two gap, two spaces for planting in, and then a double harvester, the next time we expand, I have to tear down one of the sides and add more, because I'm assuming there are higher tiers of these that do even more spaces, either three or four in the next one. I don't know if it'll double each time or whatever, but I'm guessing there's going to be an upgrade. And I'd have to tear down the harvester and whatever belts each time if I want to do that, if I want to put them in a line like this where you have planter, space, space, harvester. So instead, if I do it as a square, I can do some interesting stuff. Like right now, I'm not going to be able to expand up into this, of course. But if I harvest maybe these, harvest till, hoe, that's the word, hoe. And I put my planters, do you go two? Is that all I have? I have a bunch of planter ones there. Let's get those upgraded. Planter twos, should be able to do that. At least one of them, that's really all I needed so far. We'll have one of each of these here, and we'll put our harvesters along the bottom this way. So these guys will output here, and these guys will output pull from here and when it comes time to expand we can add another one or two this way and another one or two up this way and just keep growing the square out that way i got the inspiration from that idea from the way this expands you know you expand up and out this way why not try it with the same by the same thing with our seeds here so this then would take just a belt this way to collect those up um, we would want to filter out the, um, the whatchamacallit, there's our filter, conveyor filter here to send the biomass up this way. And that'll go into our iron compost bin, which will output to our iron auto sieve this way, and then we have to do something with splitters, yeah, which we have plenty of because of this wonderful machine up here. So if I do something like this, and that's where I can see better. So this will send eh, one this way, the next one comes down this way. I guess the last one can just be a conveyor for now. The next time. Yeah, the only thing I wouldn't like about that is the ones in front will start getting extra stuff. Um, these will have more than the next ones down the line and so on. And then our collector box goes here. So whatever seed, whatever product we need at the time, we can set this to that, which we might as well do sandy lines now. Try those out. And then seed this with some dirt. Actually, we have a lot of dirt. Let's get in here and put like Three, four, five. What do the sandy lanes take? Just one. <clears throat> so we should start getting sand in our inventory. Yes. You can see at the last minute the, uh, Biomass splits off. And just like that, we have 12 sand already. 
Oh, great orb of wisdom. Glass. Okay. So we should be able to craft that now. Glass. Is that here? That's here. Okay. Ooh, iron hammer. Let's do it. How much glass do we need? Just 20. So that should be all that. Anything else? I mean, we already have pretty much. We could do automatoes. The compactus with its shrinking powers. I'm interested in that. I don't know if I've talked about it yet, but one of the features of this game is be able to take make like a module of stuff. So when you set up a factory, you can do somehow take like this area and turn it into one machine like these auto automakers and it'll just produce that thing, but it'll only take up one square. I'm looking forward to that. So I think so this takes sand instead of dirt. That's interesting. So I could set up like a back to back thing with these. So I don't need the compactor. And I have all the sand and glass I need so far. So if I had built this a little further over, I could have had a could have had the cactus coming out the other side. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that. Where's my hammer now? It's over here. but I'm going to need an iron one of each of these. And this guy's busy. Need some more iron seeds if I'm going to do that. Let's switch this to iron. This should go away eventually. So you had five, you had four, or five. Thinking about putting these down just to get the parts back, to be honest. Let's do that, and shift hammer. We get this stuff, but it's not taking up inventory. Teens, two more glass to go. Then we'll have all the glass we need for this. And we just need to crank out one of these uh, different fruits. <laughs> I guess you'd call them. And I've got enough for you and you. Let's start tearing these up. Um, so the way to do that is like this. And iron blade. That was nice and fast. Look at how small these things are getting. <laughs> All right, cover these up. We dropped a iron seed on the ground there. And I'm never going to be able to expand this, so that's going to bother me a little bit. It only expands out that way. So let's do 
Let's set up our way out here. Yeah. Yeah. So these will be the sandy lions. Which we'll plant here and harvest this way. That's two belts this way. Uh, filter. To send the biomass this way. This whole setup now is going to be to make the cactus, which I think we're going to need or want a lot of. Um, you need a compost bin. Oh, I didn't make the automatic ones yet. You're going to need an auto compost bin and an auto iron sieve going this way. You're going to be set to sandy lions. Uh-huh. And I have one splitter here. And one belt here. Then... The sand is going to continue on this way. To... I'm going to make these automatic. I don't need the compost bin. Just feed the sand straight into this. And I'm trying to decide, I, I think I want sand in my inventory and sand for this. So if I do a splitter, would it be too slow? I don't know. 10 seconds. It'll still be faster than the demand. Let's do a splitter. That. And. A splitter this way. Nope, too many. And a conveyor here. And we'll have, we want more Mark II planters. Let's upgrade those. Um, here? Yes. Need more tomatoes. If I can just pick them up off the belt. Yeah, I can. Right, how many did I actually need? Mark two planter, and I need one more. Mark II Planter. Alright. These will go here. And we'll hoe up this area. Oh, oh, oh. Harvest out this way. These Mark IIs? Yes. There's a Harvester 1. You could upgrade it. Just upgrade it to get it out of the way. Nope, oh, need tomatoes for that. Should be all we need. We get the cactus and some sand into our collector. So you're set to cactus, you're set to the sand lion. I think if I dump the sandy lion seeds I have into here, the system should start, start sustaining itself. It's not going to spit them out for me. Really? That would have been so much cooler, man. <laughs> Take a minute. Can I put them onto the belt? I haven't tried that. Nope, that re changes the belt orientation. Looking does nothing. Fine. We'll put half in here. Or all of them, I guess, in there. That'll still work. Alright, so one sand will go in there, 
Oh, we get more than one sand out of it. Did I know that? Eventually, that'll get us enough to make a cactus seed. <clears throat> I guess we could have tried to figure out a way to get the biomass back into here to feed that extra, but this will be fine. Did I not set this? I didn't set this. Whoops. Well, now. Now we don't have any, <laughs> we don't have any sandy lines. Oops, I know I was forgetting something, but we do have, did you see, in our, in the button again, two cactus. All right, we do have lots of dirt, though. Um, so let's feed that in here. Like. There, that's four. and stuff. Oh, look at all of our splitters. Should probably switch that out for conveyors. There we go. Making some cactus seeds. <laughs> Silly thing for getting to set that filter. See, so it probably doesn't have enough biomass. Add one more there. That should feed our loop now. See, that tells me what the sand, sandy line seed up puts. I guess it makes two. Why do we have biomass in here? I must have done that. I only need sand in here. Two, three. Yeah, we're only getting one at a time. Like plus one. <clears throat> Alright, two more and we have all the cactus we need. Honestly, this is cool, but I think I'm going to tear it up. So we can make more seed planters. Let's start with... You? What is our stack size, please? Um, cover these. Let them run out. Pick this stuff up. Chicka boom, chicka boom, chicka. I can always rebuild this another time. Probably with better stuff, though. So we have a collector. Were those harvesters and stuff all mark two? That's planter one. Can I make the planter two with what we have? I don't have enough tomatoes. Let's start with planter ones then. And it'll be fine. It's one of the beauties of the expansion system. So we're basically going to build this again, but I'm going to be able to do it putting the collector in first and we'll have uh, somewhere we should have a filter. 
guess maybe we didn't have a filter up there. Belt crafter, great crafter, iron compost, copper compost. Okay. Anyway, let's see, that'll be collectors there. So it'll be like up one and then over there. Those are gonna end up like here. We'll, we'll be able to upgrade those in a little bit. We'll start with automatoes, I think. <clears throat> Yay, cactus. There wasn't anything I could do with the cactus yet, right? It's just turning it in for the next tier, or the next level up. Okay. Let's get the tomatoes going for sure. Because those feed into the rest of our automation stuff. I need one splitter. When I say splitter, I mean filter. All right, we'll get that in a minute. Oh, these up. Harvester ones. Are they both harvester ones? They are. I have one harvester too. We'll put this one in here and put the harvester one here. It won't do anything yet. That'll be fine. Belt, belt. Filter will go here. The compost bin here. I think these are more efficient, right? Because this takes... Doesn't save the output and stuff. Pick it back up. Hammer. It's like the copper... Auto compost bin. I thought it said what it takes and what it puts out. Are they on here? Probably not. But I was thinking these took... made more dirt faster. Something like that. Anyway, put the iron one here. Might as well, for now, do the copper. Sieve. Put one splitter in here, and then the belt here. And the splitter needs needs to be set like that. And yes, we want the tomatoes first. So let's start by planting. We got a ton of them. Let's come in here and put control click to put half in here and half no, the rest So this will harvest both of those. And they're just gonna sit there for the minute. We're gonna pick them up. And we need a filter. One of you. Where did that end up? Splitter. Am I still waiting for it? There it is. I did have some, I just didn't see them there. Alright, and then we need to set the filter to send biomass up. That. And that'll start feeding tomatoes in. And now that we have tomatoes, we can tear up some of these things and make upgraded things. So like the Mark II Harvester, we have two Mark I's, so let's get rid of those and just upgrade them. Put this Harvester II there. 
Let's tear both of these up, make them into Mark II's. Gives me a bunch of seeds, though. How do we find? Um, back to this bench. Mark II planters. Cool. Mm -hmm. There and there. gonna need a lot of copper and a lot of iron too. Copper, iron, and wood. I think what I'm gonna do for this one is set up a similar thing for now, but also just belt it straight into the same thing here. So in the future I'll want to leave space or compact them into the same building. I don't know. Let's put control click to put half in there. Shift click to put all in there. That'll just make automatoes forever. Let's get splitter and a belt. it twice. Let's make... wish I could just directly make these. Um, three, four... Do so we have at least three other kinds of seeds we want to make? And we have one harvester too, so we want at least five more of those. Just barely. Alright, this needs to look like that. Up, up, and harvest, harvest. Alright, we definitely don't have room for another one. Let's just upgrade all these to iron. I think. So hammer and shift collect the items. Then an iron sieve and an iron composter. We made here. We need iron. Lots more iron. Let's do just like this for now, and plant the iron seeds we have. There, you can take those. Biomass is going into this. <clears throat> um, that's the wrong bench. This one. I got one of those. Let's make it this. Yes. I could have made it this. Oh, I did make the sieve. Yeah. I say I could have made it the sieve and fed it um, all that dirt I have in my inventory. So make it an auto. Auto sieve. Thank you. All. You go there. I can put some dirt in. Um, iron. Dump a bunch of that in. As soon as we're ready, we can put a filter to filter out the... Could go ahead and do that already. 
Wait for a batch to come through. Turn that up. Press a filter again. Keep losing those. Right there. And this will send biomass up. And pretty soon we should have enough to make an um, iron composter. Soon. <clears throat> and once we have that iron composter, then we can put the composter in there. We already have all the tomatoes we need. Nice. The yeah, iron shouldn't take too long. Um, need the composter first. Then I come in here and make it an automatic one. You go right there. No further configuration needed. It's gonna turn how much... I don't know how much biomass was sitting there waiting, but there you go. Next up, we should do copper, and then we'll do the trees. Once we have 50 iron. We do it on everything. 120 compactus. We could be making glass automatically. I'm sure that'll come in. You know, we'll we'll want that at some point. It's a lot of sand. I didn't even notice that would have. I could filter stuff down if we wanted. Whoops. All right, but that seems to be going self-sustained now. It's just the iron takes forever. don't produce very fast, do they? I could send all the sand up into there. More than halfway there. Just in case you couldn't tell, I'm editing out some of the waiting here. I could probably manually plant and gather, but what's the point in an automation game, right? Just 10 more, some of which we already just got. Seven more, so two rounds. And then we can switch seeds. Copper next. That should be all the iron we need. Let's get the 
those out. That's why we keep equipping the knife is because visually it doesn't cover much up. But also if I click on something, I won't accidentally put some kind of seed into the wrong thing. So I keep ending up with weird random stuff in weird random places. Cool, so we got the iron. Making some swift progress on the copper. Then we'll do tree seeds. Let's have 10 each in them already. <laughs> Tons of oil of seeds. Just for easier viewing. Turn those off. Dirt. Or if I turn that off and put it back. I guess that's one way I could get the hammer to the front. <laughs> Alright, that's all the copper we needed. Let's change this to tree seeds. Those should go even faster. <clears throat> yeah, take these out. then I think after we upgrade, we should see what we get. We might need to expand, but I think with the cactus being part of this level, hopefully we get the shrinker in the next level. We'll just have to wait and see. just cool how we still have it on the conveyor not yet reaching our inventory yet and it's already harvesting the next batch that it? that's it level up all right let's stop well, let's let's have this do iron because that's the tricky one to make a long one, long process. You see, now it's planting the iron when it has it instead of the tree seed. I think first in, first out. First. Last in, last out. We got a barn key. It doesn't just unlock the barn, it makes it disappear. What? I'm gonna have to read about that. One second. Let me clean up my seeds first. Days. All right. You have unlocked the Shrinker. The Shrinker is an incredibly powerful tool that allows you to combine a whole setup of machines into a single crafting recipe that can be used by a crafter. Sweet. You should be warned that the Shrinker is a bit more complicated than everything else you've unlocked so far. You'll probably have to read the pages in the manual about the Shrinker. But it's going to be worth it. Once you learn how to use the Shrinker correctly, your production rates will go through the roof. The Shrinker can be found by unlocking the barn with the key you've just received. New upgraded versions of the Harvester and Planter are now available. Ooh. Mark three. Three fields. Okay. See, so yeah, I should have left at least one gap here. And we could fit both. Also, we have a key. Where do I put this? Put it in the barn. Is there a door? I... 
What? <gasps> oh, is this the shrinker area? So I build in here. And then I can shrink it and use it on the actual farm. Let's go read about it, I guess. Butter splitter pullers. About. Okay. Collectors, planters, harvesters. I miss auto sieves. Planters, harvesters, conveyor belt. Filter splitter. Puller. Oh, there's more to go. Pullers allow you to automatically pull items from your inventory. You can tell the puller which items to pull by right clicking on it. This will open its inventory where you can select items. You can select the number of items you want it to extract every second. To increase the number, simply click the items. To decrease the number, hold shift while clicking. You can also enter a number into the text field. The puller will try to output the selected items every second at the orange output. If you don't have all the specified items in your inventory, it won't do anything. Okay. That'll help me get rid of, like, this chunk. What else we got? The Shrinker. How many pages? Ooh, a few pages. I may leave all reading all of this in. I may not. The Shrinker. It's a machine that allows you to compact a whole setup of machines into a single crafting recipe, which can be accessed in the custom crafting table. It's custom crafting recipes and be turned into auto crafters. Regular craft. Thanks. The fact that this can be done recursively allows you to put any amount of machines into a single machine that only takes up one clock. It is even possible to create a single machine that crafts almost every item in the game. The shrinker is made up of a new grass grid and a display that shows you the crafting recipe you are currently creating. Okay. I think I'll just pause here so you can read it. Or you should pause here while I read this, and then I'm going to skip out. Okay. Okay, I think I get it. So we use inputs, pullers as inputs, and collectors as outputs. Then once we're done, get ready to shrink it. Before you do this, make sure the inputs, outputs, and time are what you expected. Otherwise, there'll be a mistake. Shrink button is, should trigger an effect that shrinks your grid, consumes one compact cube, and gives you a crafter for your new recipe. Recipe can now be accessed in code. It doesn't work. An error message should tell you why it's not working. A machine that creates resources out of thin air, like the Stardust Collector, ooh, can also be used as an input for the shrinker. You can set how many times you want it to craft by changing the number next to its name. A resource processing machine will always try to craft its outputs as often as possible using the items you feed it. Getting more inputs will increase the outputs, but also the time it takes. And a newly created setup is always the time of its longest taking part. For example, if you have one machine that takes five seconds to run and one that takes ten, that's the overall time of ten. Okay. So this is gonna cost a compact cube, which I have one of. Or cost that. Where do I make those? Here. Custom crafting table. I need four glass for that. Should be no problem. Unlocks the shrinker, displays all the crafting recipes that you created in the shrinker. Oh. Is this also where I make the, the 
thing I need to shrink. Yes. Also takes glass. That might be one of the first things I make. Take all of my inventory of sand and turn it into glass. <laughs> um, so it was five glass? Five glass. If I could just find the right table to use. Just five. For now. See, most of these, I thought I could open it again, even while it's crafting. But no, I gotta wait. I'm gonna want an auto glass maker. Which I guess that means I need one of these. Or some of these. You're done now? Cool. I mean, auto crafter for glass. We'll take in sand, output glass. Alright. And now that I have the glass, um, one of these. Cool. So I have one now. So I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to need couple other things too. I'm gonna need at least one of these. Did I oh I need more of these. Well then. Um so one of these and another one of these. Alright. So, the glass maker's just pull in sand, which is here. How many per second? <laughs> I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. Gets everywhere. Um, see, the sand maker... glass maker, I guess, it is uh, going to take 10 seconds. So do I put several of them, you think? So that we can make one per second? Oh, we have too many tomatoes now. What am I making iron up here? Cool. We switch this to copper next and I suppose I could also change this so if that's making copper trees I don't know. um is this is my glass maker glass crafter and then that just goes straight into here that'll take 10 seconds to run and it costs all this stuff. Okay. That makes sense. Test. Cool. Um... I guess the question is, do I want another one of these? And then have like a splitter thing going on. Because the more of those I make, the more expensive it'll get. But I kind of do. 10 seconds seems long for glass. I don't know. Let's, let's do it up. Let's shrink it. I have to give it a name. Ah, here. Name. Um. Hmm. 
Magic glass. Cool. So I can just put that down like here. And that'll just start making glass. Putting it into my inventory every 10 seconds. Right? Maybe I still have to belt sand into it? Okay, for some reason I thought the polar would take it out of my inventory. So how about we do this? Let's pick that up. Put it down here. Magic glass. We go here. I have a conveyor here. And then splitter that way. So some is going into my inventory. Some is going into the sieve. Some is going into the glass crafter. So like, if I put a, an input, I forget what they called them already, but if I put one of those pullers out here, feeding into that, it would just take it out of my inventory, right? Pullers are automation. What do we got? stuff? We got this stuff. Let's try that. Put it that way. Just say one per second. That's the button. We'll sand out one per second. I should start putting tons of sand in once a second. that up though because really I mean we're automatically feeding a small amount in here and some of it's going to our inventory that should be fine but that's pretty cool just need a lot of stuff I wonder how it works with plants like this. Harvester twos, planter twos. Let's try to see about upgrading these. Cool. And you. So if I have, we need some pullers. We need plastic for that. So let's get I still have, I do have a plastic crafter. Do I have oil or just the seeds? Just the seeds. Let's take over one of these. How much wood do I have? 500. Almost. Once we pass 500, it should take almost no time at all. I'll plant all, put all of these in to make that. I can use my puller to 
craft a whole bunch of plastic rods. Right, but that should be enough wood. Yeah. So let's pick up this for the moment. I don't think this will just dump out on the ground. It does dump. Pick that up too then. Things on belts stay on belts at least. Alright. Look at all those tomato seeds. And I wanted to put half of these and the rest of those. A bunch of oilers. Oily. We'll put the plastic maker, say, here. And put our puller here. Take Oilive out once per second. It's a very fast craft there. So what was it I needed to make one of these? Fuller, collector, oh, I could have put the puller here. I'm liking the idea of these pullers just taking junk out of my inventory, <laughs> gotta be honest. We had like 55 to go. I could have put one here putting the seeds onto the belt for me. <laughs> right, but I was thinking about trying one of these setups. Which I should be able to do with this space. We'd have one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if I do this carefully, actually, no. If I do the sieve inside here, then I, I won't be able to specify what plant to make. I'd have to make one for each kind of plant. It'd be nice if I could just feed dirt in and then configure it, but I, I'm not going to be able to do that. So instead, I guess we set up like a generic planter collector. Plant, plant, plant. Harvest, harvest, harvest. We need a puller and a collector. Get all that plastic, 200. Puller, collector. Probably make a core maker. Um, collector can go here. Puller can go here. And then we'll have, let's see, splitter, splitter. This might not be very efficient. Built. That, that. to turn these. That, that, missed it. I didn't tell it what to get. Um, do I have to tell it what to get? Can I just say, like, breaks three farm? I don't know if it'll let me. <laughs> you no, 
No, output could be calculated. Bummer. See, I was hoping I could just say, take whatever seeds I give it. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Is there a button I could push to just reset it? I don't think so. Turn up. I mean, I suppose I can make one for each kind of seed. If I was doing that, I would also want to, like, craft something. Like, if I feed in dirt, make olive, and output plastic. Because I rarely need the olives directly, right? What do I need? 16 for the next? 16. Could maybe do that. Um, let's see. Is our plastic all gone yet? Still planting some ol olives. And then we'll be done. Cool. So let's, yeah, make a plastic plastic maker. Auto plastic, right? So this thing, I should be able to feed in dirt. And get... A f or a feed in biomass. That's what I should feed in. Um, let's get rid of need these in my inventory. Make it a little easier to see. <clears throat> I could also be crafting <laughs> crates. But, so the idea here is what I had before. Let's see how it works if I do three and three. Enter three. One, two, three. Harvesters are here. Let's harvest, harvest. We should be able to layer there. See, we're gonna need to output biomass. So we need another output thing, uh, collector. It's one of these. I think this. Ooh, that's gonna. That's too tight of a fit. I also don't know if having three of these will actually make it any better than having like two or even one. Because I need a collector, I need to be able to filter out what these are outputting. Get the biomass. Let's so make ten of these and just expand it one. I do that. Puller here would be pulling biomass, right? No, I could pull olive seeds. Or we could do biomass and olive seeds into here. That makes it way more expensive to make. We should only need the one of it. It's a composter. I want to feed dirt in. Right? Let's see, iron sieve. And then an automatic iron sieve. Sorry, I'm just kind of thinking out loud by this point. So I feed dirt in, it should turn into a 
turn into olive seeds. You will bring in dirt. One per second. It takes two seconds, so we'll have more than we need. Um, I have my ten earths. Do. Okay. So I think, unfortunately, I need to move all this. Put these back. The planters here. Put the harvesters here. We'll be bringing in dirt. I don't need to filter out. Now that I think about it, I'm gonna be outputting the biomass. I don't have to have two separate outputs. I can feed them both into the same thing. That was silly. Number three, or even save a little bit by putting this one straight into there. That saves us the cost of one bill, and then. Splitter, splitter, conveyor. Set this to olive seeds. I remember why I needed this. It's because we don't want the biomass to go into the plastic. Filter. Do I have a filter? I don't have a filter. I did have a filter, way down here. <clears throat> Alright, so this will be taking biomass out of the way. And feeding it into there. And we'll have our plastic maker, which we do have. Right here. Belt is going to be cheaper than another collector. Do that. And of course, set these. Um, test. Set the input to dirt and then test again. Dirt, olives. Test. Hmm. I can say how many per second, right? So <clears throat> What does it cost to make plastic again? Need five. So if I say five dirt per second. All right, this time, ah, uh, yeah, see? Now it already knows it's gonna take plastic. Or, uh, output plastic. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> One. And there, next one goes back in the same front one. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So in 10 seconds, we get 14 plastic. Is that worth it? What happens if I trim off 
only do this. Do a two by two. Just a regular conveyor here. 16 seconds for 14. Those will go like that. Oh no, the fifth one went way out there. Um, pick it up. These could be Mark IIs, which would probably be less expensive. It's not like I'm going to be plopping down a whole bunch of these machines. Maybe I will. <clears throat> I guess that's a thing that could happen. It was still 16, 14, 16 seconds for 14. Huh? So three did actually perform better, oddly enough. So let's set that back up. And that was another splitter here, there, here, planter. Maybe I just make it to feed the seeds in. And skip this. How would that go? If you take just olive seeds, something like what? <clears throat> One per second. That wouldn't be enough for plastic. Five? Gets us 14 and 8 seconds. Okay. What if I do like 10? 14 and 8 seconds, so it's just going to double the thing. Shift, go down to 5 again. I don't have any of those in my inventory, but... If I just had something cranking those out, it should work. Call this three by three. Um, let's call this plastic. Seeds. Oil live. Seeds. To plastic. And I need a compact cube. One of you. Cool, so I could craft this by wait. I'm not sure what happens when I click that because it didn't have the up arrow. Or tell me how much what it costs. Anyway. <clears throat> Give me a compact cube. Shrink it. Polar. 
taking biomass. Can I do? Can. <clears throat> well, not yet. Jeez. Iron compost bin. Into iron sieve. Making olive seeds. Into olive seeds to plastic crafter. This can go up here. No, I don't want to split into there. That's just dumping all my olive seeds out. it over here. Pick them up. There's quite a few there. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's start at the end. Oil of seeds to plastic. Go under there. We'll have our Sieve feeding the seeds in. In fact, let's open this and just dump all those in. Shift click. Nice. Um, yeah. The composter. And then this pulling biofuel. Biomass. Did I set this to plastic? There. Oil of seeds. <clears throat> and now we have plastic being made automatically. Okay, I'm a little over time. That's okay. But I'll try not to do it too much. Very interesting stuff going on here. Let's we gotta think about what we can shrink down and what we sh what we should shrink down, what we shouldn't shrink down. Maybe I do make one for each type of seed, a big farm type of thing. Shrink it down and then just feed dirt in on mass. I don't know. We'll see how effective that is and if it's worth it. But we'll have to do that in another episode. So in the meantime. Remember to be kind, have fun, and I'll see you later. Bye.